When did women get the right to vote? Unfolding the journey, the women's suffrage movement. In the chronicles of human history, the fight for women's suffrage stands tall. A tale of courage, resilience, and unwavering hope, this is the story of when women won the right to vote. In the 19th century, voting was a privilege solely reserved for men. Women, however, were not content with this status quo. They sparked a movement that would reshape society and redefine democracy. In 1848, the first Women's Rights Convention took place in Seneca Falls. This marked the beginning of an organized women's suffrage movement in America, a fight that would last for over 70 years. The suffragettes faced immense resistance. Despite societal pressures and harsh criticism, they remained unyielding in their quest. They organized rallies, wrote petitions, and refused to be silenced, epitomizing the spirit of defiance. The 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, ratified on August 18, 1920, marked a pivotal moment in this struggle. It declared that the right to vote shall not be denied on account of sex, granting women nationwide the right to vote. However, the fight was far from over. For many women, particularly women of color, the right to vote was still not fully realized. Racial discrimination and systemic barriers continued to restrict their political participation. It wasn't until the Voting Rights Act of 1965 that racial discrimination in voting was fully outlawed, extending the right to vote to all women, irrespective of their race or ethnicity. This marked another significant milestone in the history of women's suffrage. Today, as we exercise our right to vote, it's crucial to remember the brave women who fought tirelessly for it. Their relentless efforts paved the way for a more inclusive, representative democracy. If this was helpful, please subscribe to our channel as this helps us a lot. And thank you very much for watching.